Hello everyone, welcome back to Omnifactory episode 14. Um, as you saw in the pre-roll there, I uh, have just finished, well, not just finished, uh, I made this. Um, I made it probably a day ago in real life and uh, yeah, <laughs> it's already filled up this drawer. It, this drawer doesn't have any upgrades or anything. But um, it already filled up that drawer with uh, with uh, canola seeds, so I think I'm just going to quickly go over and grab some upgrades. I have a bunch, and I'll also get uh, a void upgrade. Oh, actually, there's no point getting a void upgrade. Um, whoops. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that fast. It actually it feels kind of slow. Like if you look at how it goes. I don't know. And then the, the, how come it misses some? The canola then just grows at like the normal speed. It doesn't do any super upgrade fasty stuff. I have a couple of these worms. Are these, what are these worms from? I think they're from actually editions. Yeah. Um, you get those just randomly when you till the, the land. Sorry about that. Yes. As I was saying, um, we built this farmer, uh, we have it now filling up with canola, um, so that means I'm going to be working on, not that, uh, this part of the quest line here. I'm going to, uh, well, we could probably make fish oil, I can get fish from, uh, from uh, what are those things? Yeah, these guys, guardian matter, um, but I'm going to, this is what I'm going to be using for making all of my oil and stuff. I don't have a lot of stuff prepared for this line here. I don't know exactly how far we're going to get today. Um, and I don't know exactly the require. I didn't follow all of the quests too closely about everything that was needed. Um, but getting down to here at least will also let us get to over to here. Um, we we I probably I'll make my uh, nitro diesel from uh, using oil drilling rigs because I wanted to get an oil drilling rig like out in the ocean. If you look at the base over here, I've started doing a little bit of terraforming. Mostly I've just replaced the, the oh, I guess I missed one, the stone with the grass. And uh, I want to get some like trees and some stuff here. But mostly what I want is when I look over here, although there is a pole in the way, um, but like right there on the ocean, I want to put the oil drilling rig. Like in reality, the oil drilling rig can go anywhere. It doesn't actually have to go on the water. But I think it just looks cooler on the water and I want to have it in a place where I can like see it from my base. So that looks pretty cool to me, right? Like right over there. I also made a little waterfall here. This this thing was like flowing down and just like landing on the ground over there. So I extended it down and down into the water and then I made this little pool extend down into the water too. So I think that looks nice. I'll be putting some more dirt and grass around here. And this old stone should all be grass as well. And we can have some nice trees and stuff uh, I'm not a very good builder or anything um, should be obvious by now but maybe we can make something out of this area so anywho do I have any guardian matter I have a bunch of matter no what is it pristine I have a couple of them I don't think these are guardians so. uh, these ones I found um, going like around the world I found some ocean monuments they're really easy to raid <laughs> because there's no mobs. I got some wet sponges. I guess I can put these over here and make them dry. Not that it does any good at the moment since I don't have anything to empty, but uh, maybe what I'll do, I don't think I have a guardian thingy left over here, do I? No. Oh, oh wait, do I have any? No, these ones are not guardian. Maybe what I should do is get these, um, no, this one at least, moved over to there and with something permanent. Slime only gives you slime, right? What else does it give? Oh, it gives coins. I don't need any of those. Um, so maybe what I can do actually is let's get another guardian one built up. Guardians ones make, what do they make? Uh, hang on. What else do they make? Uh, gold. I see. That's what I'm using it for. And eventually we'll have to do, I think we need it. We need this for uh, some elite stuff maybe or not. I'm pretty sure I saw this once before. No, maybe I don't need that. Anywho, I think what I'm going to do now is let's grab some guardian matter. I should have heaps of it in here. And then I'll just go over here and simulate it into fish. 
fish, 64 fish from <laughs> one. So uh, that's more than enough. And the rest of it we can get gold out of, why not? Uh, okay, because I can't put it back into the machine now that I took it out. So what do we need to get? Fish oil. I think it's a fluid extractor, right? Yeah. So I have this fluid extractor. Except I don't want to... Uh, it doesn't really hurt if I lose that XP. I could just make another one. I can't make another one. It's easy enough. And down here, put the recipe in. I'm going to have to expand my uh, molecular assemblers again. I still don't know where that one is. I can't remember where it came from. Fluid extractor. And we'll pop it just randomly down just for the time being because this is just a temporary thing to get the quest. I don't actually care about fish oil. I'm not going to use that for my uh, stuff. We'll just plop it down anywhere because this is just temporary. And let me grab a bucket. It'll be great when I have the wireless terminal. I don't have to keep running backwards and forwards all the time. <laughs> uh, okay, let's just wait till that fills up to a bucket's worth. There's a bucket, and that's the quest. All right, so we don't need you anymore. Put you back in here, and I don't even need the fish oil because I'm not going to use this ever again, but we can just put it in there. Okay, so that was that quest. There. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is make uh, a canola press. Why did I get a carrot out of that? That's weird. Why does it give us a carrot? I don't know. <laughs> it must be some kind of meme or something. Um, canola press. This guy's pretty easy. Inori crystal block. I think I have that. Yes. Uh, two pistons, advanced coil. I think I can conductive iron. I should probably set up a recipe for these things, uh, but I still don't quite have all of the infrastructure I want to get lots and lots of quests, uh, lots and lots of uh, patterns and everything. Once I get HV to the final tier, then definitely we'll be able to do that energetic alloy, which we have plenty of that. Eight. There. And canola press. Now can we make it? No, we need pistons and two more steel plates. Pistons and steel plates. I don't think we need steel plates for anything like permanently, so I'm not going to bother making heaps of them. Okay, uh, I'm back over here. I made this the canola press. Uh, actually, let me grab the quest for that. A whole host of fluids can be used, blah, 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 blah. Yes. Okay, so, oh, uh, and what is the next quest actually? It is biodiesel and glycerol. Glycerol we make in seed oil and ethanol or fish oil and ethanol. Or canola oil and ethanol refined canola oil and ethanol wait so is it is it uh six and one so you need less ethanol and a tiny pile of sodium hydroxide dust gives you glycerol and biodiesel okay so anywho what i'm going to do i'm going to set this up in here just because uh why not um over here i have the steam dynamo from um you know that we had like early early game it's doing all of the energy needed for this guy um so uh, it's fine just to use this i think it doesn't actually need anywhere near 40 kilo rf wait it makes 40 rf a tick is the maximum right yeah 
it needs nowhere near that but i have so much sugar cane that like i may as well use them right and i think this takes power too yes it does so let's um where should i put this i kind of feel like it's weird to put it i don't know i guess we'll just put it over here this is actually so i have a um a draw controller right here um, and then I can always, if we have more farms, which I don't think I have any reason to have more farms, I can always expand this wall. So maybe I won't put, oh wait, I could just put it like that. And then I can put this back there like that. So maybe I won't put the canola press here. Maybe I can put the canola press like right. Uh, let's put it on something. Why not? I have thousands of factory blocks still. Let's see. There we go. Okay, let's get a chisel out and turn that into something that's like... Oh, actually, we're going to need to put pipes in there. So why don't I just put it here first. Put that there for now and put that there. But we won't uh, use that. We'll put something else there because we're going to have to have pipes going into it, right? So let's get... Uh, I have some have nothing down here um, but we can get this guy oh I also need the uh, infinite water source which I have another one from when we were using those as steam dynamos okay so let's get you there you there and then we can put this chest here and I'm pretty sure it's white lime lime yep there we go and we can put you there, pop you into there, take out this augment, and you should start making energy. Let's pump the energy, oops, into this guy there. So you should now have power, indeed. And then let's get the canola out of here extract and pump you into the press insert and that should be making canola oil right yes not a whole lot but it's enough does this thing this thing never turns off right like I can't I can't just tell it to like make, you know, a thousand buckets and then turn it off. So maybe what I'll do for this particular case, oh, that was weird, is make a, what are those things called? A uh, tank. I think I have one. This will do. I can always upgrade it if I really, really want to. Like uh, I can probably make this now. Huh. Let's do that. Why not? Because it's easy. I still haven't automated this guy yet. But uh, <laughs> I don't quite need to just yet. Okay, so that's that one. What's the next level of tank? Oh, okay. I can't make that yet. Okay, so let's... Oh, uh, the other thing was we'll get a fluid storage bus. This thing, what does that need? Easy peasy. So I'm going to need two pumps. Okay, so let's plop you down there. I guess. And we'll just feed you into it. Yep. Okay, so it can take one, 200 buckets. That's, that's, that's pretty good. And then I'll put the fluid storage bus there and uh, we also want to make sure that it um, only puts canola oil like if we empty it out we don't want random liquids going to there otherwise it totally screws up our storage so we can we can filter it so that it only stores canola oil Oop, did I I did <laughs> I'll have to do something about that uh, where did I what did I do oh yeah I got the bucket here and then we can say only store canola oil there put back in and then we get our glass cable there 
and we get this guy. Now, uh, how do I hook this up? I have somewhere. Ugh. <laughs> like somewhere under here. So let's line it up, right? Uh, we can line it up to there. Yeah, right here. <laughs> I have this, this line going here, which goes between the machine room and that room over there. So let's just like head this way. Oh, what's that? Just a random hole. Let me turn on the lights. Uh, I'm probably going too far now. Wilderness. And, oh, we're here. So let's head down there. Okay, so that's what we're going to take the line. Let's just get you like that. We can go straight down here. I, I don't see why we can't. Uh, oop. And one more, and let's go. Oop. I was doing so well. So now we should see canola oil. Yay. All right. Um, and then what do we do with it? We have to put it into, oh yeah, we have to get sodium hydroxide. Do I have that already? I certainly do. I don't know where it came from, but it came from somewhere. <laughs> so we need to use that plus ethanol, which we have plenty of ethanol, right? Oops. Ethan. Ah, what am I doing? We have plenty of ethanol. Oh, we have ethylene. I think we have ethanol, like, is one of the products over here, right? Yeah. Why are you still making stuff? Ethylene. So this makes ethylene, right? Ethanol plus sulfuric acid makes ethylene. Are you, where are you putting that? Not into there. Where's your ethylene going? It's not going into here, is it? Do I have a... Uh, why do I keep doing that? Oh, it is. Oh, and we have three... Th wow, okay. i got to put a thingy on that to stop it. <laughs> uh, M-E level fluid level emitter okay i need a processor oh i didn't realize that was happening <laughs> that's easy enough to fix though uh oh my last machine controller oh, no i just need a processor why is that taking so long Why is that taking so long? Hang on. Oh, I think it just worked. That was weird. Why did it take so long? Uh, hang on, let me just head back over here. All right, let's get that stopped. Uh, we're gonna have to flip you around. So I can put the machine controller there. I think I read somewhere that you can flip it back and it still, it still works. Yeah, you can. <laughs> put you there and, oh, I need a bucket of, uh, I guess a bucket of ethylene since we have 3000 of them, that's what it is. And we can turn this, way 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 down right like we don't need more than uh, it's in a hundred buckets worth right let's do 250 ah, 250 
mealy buckets. This really needs to be like times a thousand even. I don't know. Um, and then put you there and you should stop. Okay. So now the ethanol will fill up and we can, do we have any space here? We do. So I can get a chemical, oh, hang on. I don't have any space here. I can always put one there. All right, so let's get that set up and we'll get the, eth the ethylene and the biodiesel coming out. Yeah, let's get all the bits and pieces needed for that. All right, I think I've got everything. So let's put you there and blocking my, I mean, don't show in the terminal. And we want the hydro, this guy. We want the, we'll get a few of them going. I have a packer here. Oh wait, no, I need an unpacker, not a packer. Okay, let me get an unpacker. All right, I have the unpacker now, which is what I needed. <laughs> uh, let's go like that. And, uh, okay, yes, I can do that. It's not great, but uh, yeah. I've kind of changed the way I set these things up now. Uh, but uh, we'll just go with this for now, since that's what I already have. Uh, let's go here. <clears throat> Uh, filter and it's sodium whatever whatever that's called oh, and I think it's red let me see yep yep there we go uh, oh, and we need this guy instead whoops oh wait no. put it in here first and then it goes like that and then it needs to be number one I believe let's see why isn't that working in an unpacker configuration one and we get a tiny pile why is it not working oh I got the packager <laughs> silly me unpacker packager oh my goodness okay so let's uh, where is it? Back here. It's this guy. There we go. All right. So let's uh, oop. let's put you back in here. We don't need all that. Let's grab some of you out of there. I want to make you the front because I can't turn it around. Everything else is the front there. I can't turn it around. That's weird. Oh, I can turn that around that way. Oh, and now I lost that one. Oh, well, too bad. Um, okay, so let's extract as well. I guess we can, uh, I don't know. Let's extract on a different color, just to be safe. I can't remember how I've set everything else up here. <laughs> um, not the package. Uh, oh, I need a chemical reactor. Do I have one of those already made? I used to have a bunch of them, but it looks like I've used them. Oh, what am I missing? Oh, it's the old electronic circuit recipe. Okay, so let me redo that. And uh, for some reason, I don't have a recipe for bronze rotors either. So let me get all that set up. Okay, and uh, that's the chemical reactor done. Um, it turns out... Um, the bronze rotors, I have quite a bit of infrastructure I needed to make bronze rotors, like automate them. So I just made six manually, which will do for a little while. But in order to make them in an assembler, I need sold soldering alloy. It doesn't have a an alternate recipe that takes tin, um, which means I need to get uh, like this set up with antimony and tin. Um, I only have a little bit of antimony. It's probably enough actually for like most of the pack <laughs> because you, there's not a lot of things that actually need soldering alloy and nothing else. Um, but anyway, I'll, I'll do that later. I just made six or seven rotors for now and that should do us for the time being. So let's, uh, we're going to need the fluids. So we're going to need, I've got canola here and we're going to need some ethanol. Uh, uh, I won't put ethanol back into there. I guess I probably should actually because it's so slow. 
it probably makes sense to put all of the like overflow ethanol into the ME system. Uh, it doesn't matter. For now, I'll just do this. So purple channel in. Uh, let's get you. So nothing there. Nothing there. Nope. Okay. So input filter. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah. Fluids is fine because it never fills up more than one. Like you don't have to worry about it with with items. If you have just a normal filter with items, you can fill up both slots with the same item, even though you might not want that. But fluids, you don't have to worry about. Okay, so that should put both of those in there, I guess. Wait. So you extract purple. So we should be getting canola in there at least. Like this one will only, once we get one of these, yeah, once we get some output here, it should go into there. Um, oh, but I think I have the output set to there. So let's move the output to there. Wait, did I move the output to there? I think I did. Why isn't it going in? Oh, because, because when you click there and you click back, it takes you back to this tab. I think that's a bug. There we go. Now we're getting canola oil and that should fill up. Well, I don't think this actually has, I don't think we have a, a 64 buckets worth yet. Or maybe we do. It looks like we do. <laughs> okay. And then uh, we get on this one red. It has to be, I think we want tiny piles of sodium hydroxide. Inserting, is it gonna work? Is it connected? It should be connected all the way to that thing down the bottom, right? I guess it's not extracting. Oh, it's extracting on orange, that's right. So, orange. Where's orange? There we go. Now there, and then, do we need, I guess we need a whole, wait, how much do we need? A whole bucket? What's that? Canola, ethanol. What? Six buckets? Wow. What was this one then? Crystallized oil. Seed oil. Oh, actually seed oil is better because you need way less ethanol. Seed oil I think we can get from a, from putting the canola seeds in. Maybe we should do that instead. The only thing is, I haven't been able to figure out how to get the seeds out of this guy. Like, they end up here, but how do you take them out automatically? It doesn't come out by the... Like, you can't just extract them. It doesn't seem to work. Because I have them going into here, but it's not filling up. Wait, there's 76 now. Is it doing it? Like it, once it overflows here, then it starts putting them in there. That's possible. Hmm. Because that needs way less uh, ethanol then, right? Let me just get enough so that I can get one batch going. Uh, the canola oil I might... Can, can I put it back in? You can't, can you? All right, let me just grab the canola out of here and put it in there until we have enough. This is going to be one by one though. There we go. And that'll give us glycerol one bucket and six buckets of biodiesel so is that that was the quest right yeah so now we can make epichlorohydrin which is glycerol plus hydrochloric acid which one do i have either of those chlorine no i don't 
I think, wait, what is hydrochloric acid? Oh, I do have, I have hydrochloric acid. 378 buckets. Where do I get that from? Hydrochloric acid. It must come from one of these things. As a byproduct of something else that's useful. I mean, obviously hydrochloric acid is useful. Oh, vinyl chloride, there you go. Yeah. Which then gets used to make PVC. Polyvinyl chloride. Interesting. So how come I only have 378 buckets? I guess I only have even less of PVC, right? Where's polyvinyl chloride? Do I even have that here? Huh. Okay. Is it because I only have... Po I guess it's because of the sheets. I have it set to a limited number of sheets. Is there another way to make hydrochloric acid that's not chlorine plus hydrogen? Oh, and I have heaps of hydrogen too for some reason. So maybe I can do that, make some of that chlorine plus hydrogen and, and whatever I get out of here as a byproduct of that thing. Um, so I can use these to put into the ME system up to a certain level and then just take it out to make, what's it? I think I need that too at some point. Uh, yeah, this guy. Okay, so what are we... Alright, 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 alright. We got a plan here. Do I have space to put it? I still want to use this one to make the um, circuit, so I'm going to leave that. I don't think I have space. I've started building, uh, making space over here for more stuff. I haven't quite finished building the walls of the building yet. Um, and this is going to be another one of those areas down there where I have my blast furnaces. But this is going to be another area for more of those guys. And then I've also thought about uh, like out here and then just over here inside this mountain here. I can put a whole bunch more machines and stuff. So in the future. Uh, but for now, I'm not going to do that. Um, I think this video has gone on for probably long enough now. I think what I'm going to do in the next video is we'll get started on uh, the epoxy. Um, there's still like a whole bunch of other things I could be doing as well. Like we could start getting into uh, making diesel and what does this need? Distillation tower. So we could also make the distillation tower. We haven't finished off all the quests over this side, obviously. We haven't even finished these quests yet. Um, I might not do all of the quests, uh, eventually we'll probably get to all of them. Um, so I could make this in the next episode. Uh, I could make a whole bunch more blast furnaces. You only need four controllers to win that quest. Um, we could also get started on this part of the, the quest tree, start making some of these, uh, like, uh, you know, the thermal elemental guys. I, let me just claim that one for now. Um, but we're going to have to do it this way because we don't have any mobs to kill. So this one is pretty easy. I only need one bucket of it and it's just hydrofluoric acid plus pulsating dust and you get this stuff and then you can make it the, uh, these guys, which I've already made blaze powder. Apparently blaze powder is, uh, elemental reduction fluid and snow. So I can make heaps of that. And then you use this stuff to make, wait. What do you use this stuff for? How do I make the elemental? Yeah, how do I make these guys? Oh, you got to make the, the dust, the aerothium, whatever, whatever dust. So that's pretty easy. Once you've got the, you know, once I got two of these, it's a snowball and redstone and I can make that. And then I can make this guy and then I can get as much as I want because they, they make all of the, the stuff that you need. So I'll probably have to make a bunch of these things to get all of the stuff you need basically, or maybe not obsidian dust. I don't know about, I think snowballs you can make in other ways too, right? 
fluid solidifier. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably the easiest way to make snowballs. But anywho, um, I think that's oh, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, we're going to we're not going to do this yet. Uh, eventually we will. It'll be good to get nether stars because then I can get um, beacons and that can make help me to run around even faster. Uh, but I think what I'll do is I'll, maybe I'll do this off camera. This is pretty straightforward, right? It's just some chemical reactions and stuff. Um, and then we should be able to get that pretty easy. Uh, I can probably get started on some of these chemical stuff. Maybe in the next episode, what we'll do is we'll set up a distillation tower. It's not too difficult, um, but that's kind of a fun little project to work on. And then we can start working on, I also want to get an oil drilling rig, as I said before. Um, that's not too difficult to make. It's a bunch of a bunch of raw materials, but I think I can make all of it. I think, wait, modular machines. I don't think I can make modular machinery stuff yet. Where's the modularium? Energetic steel deuterium, which we get from lunar mining. So yeah, we don't, we don't have that yet. What I could do uh, actually is we could also start working on the stuff to get to the moon. So that's like a bunch of processing of other chemicals to get rocket fuel. And then we can make all, I'm pretty sure we can make all this stuff and get to the moon. So maybe that's what we could do next episode. I'll have to look into these things a bit more. Maybe I can do some of this stuff off camera too, because there's a bit of uh, boring chemistry that needs to be done. I think we just distill uh, fermented biomass. Yeah. Or if I have the distillation tower, then you get like a bunch of other stuff, which is useful too. Like ethanol, obviously is quite useful since it was very slow to process now. Actually, maybe that's what we should do, right? Get the distillation tower, process fermented biomass. Wait, how do we get wood vinegar? We don't get as much out of it though, right? So fermented biomass is biomass in a fermenter. Uh, we'll probably set up more than just one. Like at the moment, we just have the one, the one thing making it here. Uh, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll uh, get rid of this and we'll use a distillation tower to get it instead. And that way we can start on our way towards, yeah, the, you need ammonia too, which also comes from a distillation tower. So then we can start getting on our way towards uh, rocket fuel and heading off to the moon. So that sounds like a good plan. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.